Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, today we're gonna go over how to set up the software and and then also transfer the data over the game over and then uh, and then we're gonna do some unboxing of the the rest of the controller and add this to it. Now I bought uh, one, two, three, four, five of those uh, controller that you could just plug it in without have to take this thing off. And I think that's kind of, to me, is better uh, because you don't have to take everything apart and that save a lot of time where it made the game uh, more fun to play without have to like, oh man, this game require the spinner, this game require a trackball, and then you have to like take it apart all the time, okay? And I'm going, I'm waiting for my, my uh, decal uh, images come in. I went and purchased it. I like to design the decal. Uh, I have reached out to the guy that I bought it from. I used to have a person that I always buy the image from, but the, he discontinued. Uh, he don't do that no more. He's doing something else with his kid. So they're building uh, Game Boy Advance, the, the console, and they're modding it and make it, you know, where you could play pretty cool stuff. So he's doing that now on the Facebook and he doesn't do the artwork. And he also gave me the digital copy. So that's pretty cool because I could use a digital copy, modify it, send it back and say, hey, what do you think? Can you make it better? And he will make it better and, and do the artwork for me. So, so that guy is no longer doing that no more. So hopefully the guy who's doing the decal for the Bill RK will work with me on that too so that I could send him more artwork. And a lot of time when I design artwork, I don't mind uh, for the person to resell my artwork. If people like it, they say, hey, I like Johnny's artwork. Can I get the same one? I have no problem with that. So hopefully he will work with me. And so the mm -hmm. when I'm talking about decal, it's like the picture of the artwork. And plus this, plus the marquee, and the controller, and the front, front page. I mean, the front uh, so he he does all that for thirty dollar. To me, that is real reasonable price. And he will send me the physical copy once he's finished printing it out and stuff like that. So I have a two copy, uh, two decal. I'm not gonna tell you which two I got, but once I get it, I will do a video on that and put it on and tell you where I got it, how much it costs, where the link is, and then you guys can order from him. You know, and I'll show you how to get to uh, different images because uh you have to click option to see different one you don't see all the artwork all at one time so i didn't i was like that's all you have then i click option option then i see more different artwork different uh design that he have already created and i'm like okay i want this i want that and then i he so i got two of this this one i did not install the heat sink fan the tower i thought it would not fit on a so i glued the hot glue the the fan that you guys saw on the first video so my next one when i do the raspberry pi 4 i'm going to try to put that in and see if it work and if it work it would be a plus because uh that is the best heat uh cooling uh for raspberry pi the best one we're gonna check the temperature and see my fan is in the, my fan, the fan that I put in there came with the heat sink because they gave you an extra one. And I put it in there and you don't hear no sound. And it's early in the morning, you don't hear no fan sound. And that's one thing real cool about it. Now, if you buy from the link I gave you guys before, uh, who know, I don't guarantee that it's, it's gonna be the perfect fan. But hey, you know, you just, sometimes you have to take a risk because sometimes you do get a good one and sometimes you don't, okay? Now, I too myself are watching video of how to do it. And now I recommend, I, rec I recommend this guy right here. Uh, his name, I don't know what he, how he called, Wrangler Tech Talk. Wrangler Tech Talk, he did an excellent job. He even showed you how to transfer data and stuff. Uh, Glenn, he only showed you how to 
set it up. He didn't show you how to transfer the ROM and stuff, so. Okay, so zoom into this. Yeah, those are leftover stuff that I did not, extra stuff that when I built it and I didn't want to keep the big box, so I put it in the small box, that's why it's there. Uh, when I built the build out, build a cat. Okay, it's asking for, uh, so you're gonna use the D-pad as a mouse. Now, sad to say is my image that it came with the system is already damaged. Uh, I guess when I reject the SD card, I didn't click reject. And now it's asking me when I put it in, it asked me, do you wanna repartition this? And I'm like, no, because if you repart, I mean, repartition and format it, it's gonna kill whatever's inside. So I don't know. But I'll show you uh, at the end of the video. But luckily, I did make a, uh, I made a copy of this image and I burned it into a 256 gigabyte. So hopefully, we could resize it and make so you will see all the space. And then we could just copy the ROM directly to the SD card without having to plug, it, plug in the flash drive. All right, so we're gonna click enter on the keyboard and it only might find my Wi-Fi. I was hoping that it would use a direct network connection, then I don't have to, uh, you know, because if it's not direct connected, it sometimes will, oh crap. This button doesn't, probably I should have pressed A, huh? All right, there you go. You press the one button. Press it again, I guess. All right, use the keyboard. Press enter. Oh, it's asking for my password, probably. <laughs> this is taking longer than I expected. All right, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna use the keyboard instead. Click enter, okay. So it's connecting to my Wi-Fi. So you definitely have to have Wi-Fi in order to do this. Uh, if not, this is not gonna work for you. Okay. All right. So it recognizes the Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, using Raspberry Pi. All right. So I'm gonna use the. I should have plugged in the mouse. It's a lot faster than using the joystick. Okay. Got that check. Now what? <laughs> Uh, install. Okay, there you go. Press the A button. Uh, this will install the selected operating system to blah blah blah. All existing data on the SD card will be deleted. Okay, so that's fine. So that means that SD card could be we we done the thirty two gig. So this 32 gig that it asked me to repartition, as long as you connect it to them. Uh, but the problem is the first thing it came up, it already asked me to, well, you want to repartition this before it even asked me the network. So I I guess we could try it, see if it work, but I kind of hesitated to do it because I don't want to lose the data from the micro SD call. So we're going to let it run and afterward, uh, we could take the, we could look at some other stuff and see if we could resize the SD card. Now, once I get the image done correctly, I will do a separate video to try to modify this image. And if I successfully do it, I will do another video on that. And then I'll share the information with you guys. So it's gonna take a while. You say take, it will take 
Don't tell me it would take 46 minutes, would it? So I recommend uh, either use Glenn's uh, video or watch uh, his video. He he have how to build it and uh, have a very good instruction as well. So uh, let me get out the. Let me get out of here. And the person would be. Oh. So the person would be called a uh, Wrangler Tech Talk, and he he does a very good job uh, explaining how to transfer files and stuff. Okay, and then you will also have to transfer the bio stuff. He put everything on the USB flash drive and then plug into the back. Uh, he first format it first, put it in the back, and the system will generate a, a key. I mean the WAM folder, and then from that WAM folder you transfer the file into the WAM folder, and then that's how you pretty much play the game. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to demo uh, the uh, joystick. I will do that next time. Uh, I have to. I have an appointment. I hurt myself, my ankle, at work, <laughs> so I have to go to. Uh, to see the doctor and get this is the second time we're going to go back and uh, I just find out that I have I hurt myself not just the ankle but I also hurt uh, probably hurt my whip and my sides because they have a big scratch in my side but I didn't know until I came home and changing clothes I find out there's a big scratch in my back so anyway I will be uh, doing this video later on but yeah once I get everything set up uh, I'm still playing around trying to learn how to how to get every, how to figure out how to play this but I do notice that the he heat on this system is not very good I compare it with my other Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, this one's not very good uh, for example I'm gonna go ahead and press F4 on the keyboard okay and that'll take me outside the system and I just barely turn this thing on I let it run the setup installation everything and it is showing uh, see uh, temperature 159 uh, Fahrenheit and 159 is is hot uh, normally when I look at here I normally see like uh, 26 or you know Celsius uh, I'm used to seeing that as a Celsius, but at least this Celsius is not getting any higher than 71, 76. I think I saw it 76 when I was playing the game. But uh, but the Fahrenheit it went up to 167. So I don't remember how high is the Fahrenheit, but I know Celsius, if you go any higher than 80, 85, the system will shut down but it went up to 76 so it's pretty close that it does get pretty hot so I might do a tear down and I'll put that other heat sink this one because I realized it does have space to put this one in so I'm going to take the other fan that I hot glue it this uh, un, un hot glue it and then put this in because I believe it will fit I'm going to try it okay if it does fit, I will. If it does fit inside, I will do an update video I'll show you that it does work, and then uh, we could test the temperature again, because uh, I don't like the temperature being that high because that means the system uh, after maybe two or three hour playing, it it will have the game might have glitches and problem. Just FYI, because uh, I have been. Uh, Notice that that's part of the reason I don't buy game system that come with Raspberry Pi because a lot of time people overlook about the the heat sink and the Raspberry Pi does get hot and uh, so just FYI just based on experience so you know that you have to cool that thing down in order to play a good experience with Raspberry Pi. That's pretty much it. Uh, I will do. 
once I get everything set up and all this put together, it will be more fun just plug and play. Like this one is already set up. I just plug and play. I'll show you how to do one of this, uh, how I put it in. I think I did a video on how to put this together. But uh, we could plug it in and then start having fun once I get all the all the ROM that is virtual. It's vertical screen because this is this screen is, is 4.3 and it's, you have more fun if you're playing vertical game than you do with horizontal game because the screen would be pretty short, pretty small. All right, thank you for your watching. Hopefully that you this will help uh, let you understand how to install the software. I bought two of them and I'll be getting another decal, uh, two decal that's coming in. Once they come in, I'll also do a video on how to put the decal on to the system. And uh, yeah, game on. I enjoy Retro's uh, new system. And I love, especially I love the fact that he built this so you don't have to take that apart and just plug it in and, and, and plug and play. So that's pretty cool. And uh, if anybody know where to buy that little click thing so that I could move my screen up 45 degrees. So, because if you look straight down, this is what you see on the table. You're not able to see the full screen. So, Glenn mentioned on his video, but I don't see the link. So, if those of you who know, let me know. And I want it tilted a little bit, like 45 degrees, so I could actually have fun playing with it without not able to see the full screen. All right, thank you. Later.